Hey everybody, this is Presidential Diamond, Allison Chastain. Um, I was asked to do a video by um, like my BFF, not really, but I made her, I told her she was my BFF, um, but Presidential Jane Hooper. Um, I just think she's awesome, so um, I'm specifically making this for her team, and um, I'm sure it'll be shared other places, but um, I'm not a pro at parties, but this is going to be a party 101 anyways. Um, I'm clearly doing something correct because I really love parties and I have a really good sign-up rate. So um, I'm going to talk to you about parties and how I do parties and all about parties. So um, first, she wanted me to talk about getting parties. So we're going to talk about that. Um, there are several different ways that I do it. Um, when I'm out blitzing with someone or, or blitzing, uh, you know, just everyday life you just make blitzing part of your everyday life but when I'm blitzing I um I mentioned you know uh, when I talk about the wrap they ask how much it is you know they see the $25 um, but then I will mention to them um, but you know if you want to get some girls together and just have like a girls night in or something you can try it for free and that's how I make it I don't I make it very informal I I'm not like it's a party it's a wrap party I don't even say that I just say you can invite some of your friends over we'll have a girls night it'll be really fun Oh, sorry. Um, it'll be really fun, and um, uh, you can try yours for free. So some people put a limit on that. They might say, you know, if you have, like, three friends at least or five friends, whatever, then yours is free. I don't put a limit because um, I'd rather book the party, and it, what if I have one person there, and she's a total rock star and signs up, you know? So I don't put a limit. I don't, it doesn't bother me if they have one person show up. As, as long as they have one show up, she gets a free wrap, and that's how I do it. But it's your business. You can do it however you want. Um... So that's kind of how I book parties is I just make it really informal. I don't make it, I don't say party. Um, I just say get your girlfriends together, we'll have a girls night in, have, you know, a good time. So um, that's getting parties. I'm going to get my little notes here so I can make sure I can get everything that she said. Um, let's see. Sorry, more prepared than this. Okay. Then... Um, she said, anything special that I do leading up to the party to help the hostess be successful? <laughs> no, I don't really do anything. I, other than tell them, hey, you need some ran wrap, you need um, a clear cup for the fat fighter demonstration. Um, I tell her to just have a few snacks because if anything, you know, I let people know. I'm very informal. I'm not pushy. Um, but I want her to tell her friends, let them know it's $25 if they want to try a wrap. If they don't want to wrap, that's totally fine. Um, uh, and, you know, if you come for the food, that's cool too. We won't judge you. And I just kind of make it funny like that. So I do tell them to bring, like, have some kind of light snacks or something, um, nothing crazy or anything. Um, and I just let them know that really the main thing that you need is water. So I just tell them what to have. I really don't do anything. Um, I'm sure there are really some really good tips out there of what you could do beforehand. Um, but it's, I like to keep things informal. That's just my style, and it seems to work. So um, I don't do anything other than telling her to, you know, have an event page on Facebook. And that is something I'll do. So there's there's a tip right there. Have an event page on Facebook, and I'll post a few things leading up to the party date. Like, I'm so excited to meet you guys, you know. Um, here's my before and after pictures. It's crazy. If you want to try one, it's $25. Not a big deal if you don't want to try one kind of thing. So you can totally do that, too. Um, Let's see. Um, okay, so sealing the deal at a party. Um, actually, I um, do the same sort of thing, but I actually asked one of, another good friend of mine, Renee Stump, because she's just the bomb, and they have like 100% sign-up rates at every party. Her and her husband, Forrest, actually kind of does better, I think, than her is what she says. <laughs> so, But I asked her if she had a good, um, you know, just – tip for sealing the deal at a party and she said the best closing tip that I can give you is um, to ask at the end individually do you see yourself as a distributor or as a loyal customer so we've talked about this before just give them those two options because that's really the only two options that matter um, I mean no one wants to become a retail customer because they're paying you know way more uh, and you know they're paying way more um, and then People do want the products. You know, I find that people really want the products. And let me back up a little bit and just talk a bit about how I feel like a party is successful and how to do a party successfully. I make it all about the health. Um, I don't make it about, um, oh my gosh, you're going to be so skinny, you know. Um, I make it about, like, this is a health product. It's great for you. I talk about the other products, not in depth, but I do talk about greens and what greens do for you. And I, 
Greens is actually my favorite product, so I sell the crap out of Greens <laughs> because I really, truly believe everyone should be on them just because of how good they are for you. So um, I think that if you're not using these products and you're not passionate about these products, you're not going to be able to sell them. So make sure that you're on the products, you're a product of the product, you're using the products yourself. Not, make yourself knowledgeable about the products. Um, there are so, I mean, there's not an excuse for not knowing this stuff. Just educate yourself. I know that when I first started, I didn't have an upline telling me anything, honestly, because my upline is, um, I love her, but she signed up like a couple weeks before me, so she didn't know any more than I did. So um, we just had to learn together, and I just watched as many YouTube videos as I could. I um, looked up the product stuff. I looked up the all the, you know, on your website you can go to a product and you can scroll down and you can do the view ingredients or and then you can learn all about the product, not just the ingredients. Um, and so that's what I did. I put together a product knowledge sheet for my team, um, but I just learned the products. So learn the products. You don't have to go in depth with them, but you can kind of know how to help people more because that is what this whole business is about is helping people. If you know what specific thing they're trying to accomplish, you can say, oh, you're trying to do this? Okay, you need Thermofit or you need greens or you need relief or whatever. Um, so knowing your products um, is going to help you sell the products and using them yourself will help you sell them because you're going to have your own testimony. Nobody can deny your own experience or your own testimony. Um, so make it about health. Don't make it about like being so skinny and being cute again. I mean, yes, that's important to people, but I really think people also love the health aspect and Americans are so unhealthy. And so if they can use a product like greens, for example, that's going to make them healthier and it's such so something so simple and it tastes good, why wouldn't they do it? And it's so much more affordable than if they were to go buy eight servings of organic vegetables from the store every single day and eat them, you know? They're going to save so much money. So it's totally worth it, and people will buy it when they realize the comparisons. So um, make it about the health. Make it about um, uh, how can you help them, and you'll have a very successful party. Um, okay. I asked Renee again about... Um, if she had a trick to booking parties, and I kind of mentioned how I book parties too, but here's what she said. Um, she said, I usually take anyone uh, leaning towards DT but not ready to sign, and I suggest that they have a party. So anyone who's like leaning towards it said, hey, well, why don't you have a party and bring your friends over and I'll do the party. Um, so it's almost kind of like tricking them to having a launch party. Um, and then at the end, whenever, her, whenever the people are signing up, just say, hey, if you want, you could, we can sign you up first, and we can stick these people underneath you. So that might be one good way to um, have a party. Let's see what else did she say. She said, most parties I do are launch parties, and they or they become someone's launch. So, And actually, that's me too. I just finished doing a launch party tonight. I have another one tomorrow. I've had like probably 14 in the last two weeks, honestly. I have almost one every day. And I love doing parties, but they're mostly not for me. I do have one for me next Friday, and I'm so excited because I get to keep everything from it for myself, so it's great. But I love doing launch parties too, and I love helping other distributors launch their business and show them how easy it is to do this, how you can literally read the party pad notes, or which I don't do that anymore, but once you get going and you kind of get your own niche down for the parties, you don't need to read party pad notes. You just know what you're doing. So um, I think that's it. Oh my gosh, I hope I... Let me, let me go just go back real quick and make sure I answered all her questions. Um, okay, so the only thing that I didn't cover was getting um, more parties from that party. Um, and the way I do that is at the end, I just say, um, now if you're wanting to try this and you didn't get to try it tonight and you're thinking that you really want to try it but you're not sure that you want to spend the $25, um, or even if you just have friends and family that you want to educate about some of these products because you know they would really benefit from them, and a lot of them you know, do feel that way, like, oh my gosh, my grandma could really use the greens or whatever. Um, uh, but she, she won't believe me if I know she doesn't hear it from someone who is more knowledgeable. Um, uh, then I'll just say at the end, you know, um, you know if you're wanting to do this, um, uh, host a party. You can just invite your friends over. And again, I'll leave, I won't say host a party. I'll just say invite some of your friends, family over, whatever. It'll be real casual. Um, and I'll just do the same thing I did here. It's, you know, I do. I give a lot of information at parties. I don't just talk like again. I don't talk about the skinniness and the cuteness and tight and tone and firm. I talk about that, but that's not the focus. The focus is on how can I help you be a better you. Um, and so that's what. Um, 
that's what we do at the end of the party. I just say, let's have a party. Let's, it's very informational like this. Um, it's informative, I guess is the word. Um, invite your friends and family over and we'll just have a fun little night in. They can try some things and you'll get a free wrap just for hosting. And I'm going to start throwing in a free energy drink for a little bit, I think for like a limited time. So you could do something like that too, like host a party and you're going to get a free wrap and a free energy drink because that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I think that is it for my time. I really hope this helps you guys. I, I know I ramble and stuff, but um, just know the products. Make it about them. It is about them. It's about helping them. Um, helping others helps you, and that's that's the benefit of this company. I love the way this company is set up, um, but learn the products. Um, make it about health, and um, it's not a party. It's a girlfriend's night or whatever. So. Y'all have a good night or day or whatever time it is that you're watching this.